So I'm about 300 metres from today's hash point in my graphicule. I was very fortunate today that um, a meeting I was supposed to be in was cancelled, leaving me a little bit of time free to cycle out from work to um, a little bit of nearby countryside to try to find the hash point. There is actually a public footpath through this field, I think it's supposed to be over there, about 100 metres. But honestly, it's not well signposted anyway. I've had to abandon my bike. I'm still wearing the helmet. I don't know why I need that. It may provide me some protection in the event of raptor attack. We need more pylons. Oh, wait, there's more pylons. on that fence. I certainly hope so because the other side looks like a field of cows. Hello cows! Moo! They don't care. So for the benefit of those of you who don't have a clue what I'm doing, I am geohashing. Geohashing is another GPS game, like geocaching, where players try to go to um, coordinates out in the middle of nowhere. The coordinates for geohashing are randomly generated based on stock exchange prices and anybody in any of the 68,400 square degrees of planet Earth can try to go find one. Success! My phone says I'm within three meters of the hash point which is well within the circle of uncertainty. I got to see some cows and I got to have a walk out in some pretty countryside uh, not too far from the um, bits of distinctly Oxford looking um, buildings over in the distance. Fab! Well, I'm heading back from the geohash point and all I've got to do is find where did I put my bike? It's by a bridge somewhere. I should have geotagged it. I genuinely have no idea where this footpath is supposed to be. I swear there is one from the maps. You see this? That is the public footpath. I don't think anyone can blame me for the fact that I found myself a couple of hundred metres that way. Hello again, bike. I have missed you. Whew. Quick bonus thing while I'm on my way home. Uh, something that those of you who hash in the US may not have seen before. Uh, this structure is a gasometer or gas holder. That's the steps going up to nowhere. It's a container and pressure regulator for natural gas or um, originally coal gas, uh, which gets piped in, pipes like these ones, into the um, uh, into the bottom um, and causes the whole structure to lift up and become sort of like a tower full of gas.